So Gabriel's been uh, on talking to us about over the last couple of weeks about some of the crazy weather Ontario's had. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. You know, of note, there was a tornado at five in the morning. Um, can you just sort of talk us through the last few weeks? Because you morning. mostly four uh, five. Mark, yeah, Mark's obviously you've been. <laughs> sort of on the front line of this, you haven't had to go anywhere to chase storms necessarily this fall. Talk to us about the wonky weather of Ontario. Uh, you know, we've had, uh, it was probably one of the most interesting tornadoes I think we've ever seen, um, like personally, and like even from, from both a meteorological point of view and just being a chaser for it, it was wild. This thing, um, we, we decided to, we, we sort of watched a couple of days of, of, of tornadoes and, and severe weather in, uh, in September, and that's, really unusual to have it like that late in September uh, and that strong. I mean, we had like crazy humidity. Like we had July level, uh, you know, humidity. In oh, yeah. So we headed up to, I headed up to Point Clark on the, on the one day I headed out a, a couple of hours early just cause I was like, yeah, you know, I'm just going to go up there just, just in case cause stuff started to fire up. So I'm going to go up there. And I got there and there's a few other chasers there and we, we're watching the shelf cloud come in and, and we were all we we're expecting was, you know, a big shelf, maybe some embedded, uh, you know, little um, QLCS type tornadoes in there. Really hard to nail a tornado at that point. No way. Um, and we're watching the radar and we're watching like out over the water. And suddenly we see this just like gigantic. Well, actually, sorry. The first thing we saw was a, a like a, a little stovepipe, little white stovepipe of a, of a tornado coming down out of the, uh, out of the shelf. Cloud. And we thought, okay, that's gotta be, um that's got to be one of the qlcs tornadoes like nothing significant but okay that's really cool we've seen tornado and mm -hmm. uh behind that though there was this black like mass behind it and we're just like that's weird like it's really weird and we're looking on radar and the radar was sort of indicating this gigantic and donut hole behind there and we thought oh man so we had to peel out of um out of, out of point clark real fast and and so we had to get out of there and, and head south like because I wanted to get south of it so I could turn around and see it from the, from the south. But the problem was is that the whole bloody thing was moving really fast. Fast, so yeah, I, like I went, 40 I knots, went, right? Yeah, I went south down towards uh, Lucknow. And unfortunately, there's, um, like, as we came out of Point Clark, the sky, like, it wasn't that late. Like, it was, it was quite a bit of sunlight left. But it was, like, midnight. And so, like, I've seen that in... in um, and tornado alley you know you get these giant storms it just turns everything to midnight and so we blasted southeast like i started like trying to get to the town i could not see to the uh to my uh, west at all at this point because it's just trees and so i'm just sitting there going hurry up hurry up hurry up there's all these cars are, like in front of us and i'm like guys we you, you've got to go a lot faster than this or you know this tornado could be coming right at us we couldn't we didn't know we couldn't tell and uh you know the wind started to blast i'm like oh my god and um I'm sort of looking at radar at the same time and I'm seeing the purple beginning to wrap around, which means it's a giant hailing. It looks, it was a, it was a radar image straight out of Oklahoma. And it was just like, so we had, I had a choice to make to head South or head Southeast. So I took Southeast towards Lucknow, And, but I knew that the, there were, the problem was the road was closed just North of Lucknow, And I sort of went, Oh man. Um, so uh, Dave Piano went through, like he was just in front of me. He went through the, uh, the road closed sign. And I was like, man, I, I don't want to get caught down there because literally to my right, you could see this gigantic mass of uh, what I thought was potentially a tornado or at least had a tornado ba uh, buried in there. What I didn't know at the time was the whole damn thing was the tornado. It ended up being 1.3 kilometers wide. So I had, to make a, I had to make a choice. I had to go through and potentially get stopped because I didn't know where the, where the actual blockage was on the, on the main road into Lucno. And so I had to make the choice. And I, so I went east and then went back southeast again. We got down and I had my car man in the, in my car, in the car behind me. So I didn't really want to push it too hard because I didn't want he's, – you know, he's driving for himself. And I finally hit the brakes when I suddenly realized what was right in front of us um, was just this, like the basic, the circulation was right in front of me. And so I had to hit the brakes so we didn't drive right into it. And uh, it was moving, it was moving, the whole thing was moving real fast. And I sort of said, okay, like I'm going to bail into look no so that if there is like something in there, I've at least got a, I can put a building between me and the flying debris and put, you know, so put the, you know, Dave in there as well. Cause it was, you couldn't really tell very, very easily. My instincts were telling me that this tornado at this point was to my Southeast and, and I was right. I was totally right. 
um, when we reviewed the video <laughs> late. But the whole thing was just wrapped up in rain. You couldn't see a bloody, <laughs> no classic funnel, no nothing. Um, and then when I got into look, no, I started finding all these little bits and pieces of damage all over the place. Dave, uh, Dave Sills and the whole NTP crew came up the next day and we ended up, uh, I ended up over, I'm trying to remember the name of the town, Kingsbridge, I believe it was right on the, on the 21, which is the highway that goes to the North South right along the Huron shores. Uh, a pig barn there just got blasted apart. Um, Dave wow. called that two damage. And when Dave went through it, I found damage for like a six kilometer path of damage. Um, when Dave took a look at it, he's like, there's no way this is a six kilometer wide tornado. It's just, that would be so far beyond the world record, which was El Reno. The biggest similarity, Maybe, yeah. the biggest similarity between the two was sheer size of the thing. Um, oh yeah. What was interesting about this one though, was that we actually had, and Dave and I sort of, we, we started to take a look and we think there was like more than a few, uh, satellite tornadoes around the main tornado itself um which was possibly like that was the wildest thing we'd ever that that i've ever seen was like how many satellite tornadoes were going around the tornado uh how many suction vortices were in there i have film like i've shots like where the suction vortice is right in the field beside me and i'm like oh i wonder if that's the tornado that was a little one and that was <laughs> yeah well, that, <laughs> that was just one of them you see my pictures if you see my video like I'm looking at this going, like I'm filming this whole thing going, I think that's the tornado. I think it's in there. Not realizing that the whole bloody thing was the tornado. So it was this just absolutely wild tornado in, in the middle of um, like in, in September. You don't expect something like that. No, exactly. You don't expect that at all. But what was really neat was that um, it was what it was was a cluster of storms that started off ahead of the main line that was coming behind. And One then, front triggered, right? Once yeah, the, triggered. The, 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 the main line hit that cluster of storms out the front and yeah. spun up the southernmost one into this monster supercell, um, which then produced a monster tornado, um, which we tried to get out of the way of. And like that was sort of the beginning. Like, and, and then just we just had storm day after storm day after storm day. 